Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This will be a reading having a look to see who's thinking about you this Valentine's Day period. Now this could be an ex, this could be someone you're dating, this could be someone that could come forward and reveal feelings for you. So we'll have a look and see what the cards can reveal. Um, it will be a five card spread with two different decks um, to have a look and see who this person is and what we can learn about them. Now, if you could all please leave a like, a share, a subscribe, um, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for that, Virgo. I really do appreciate it. Otherwise, let's jump into it first and foremost and see what's coming up or who's coming in with their eye on you with interest, uh, Virgo. Okay, the five of pentacles. This could be someone who is under an earth sign or has earth-like traits here, Virgo. So it could be a fellow Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn. Uh, the five of pentacles can be someone who's who's kind or, or possibly has been through a bit of hardship lately. Maybe financial hardship, uh, maybe hardship in love. Maybe there's been some sort of neglect with this person. Maybe they've come out of an abusive relationship or they had a lot of neglect growing up. Um, you know, maybe they're a big believer in, in, in uh, philosophy, um, in religious energy, in the kindness of strangers. Um, maybe they give people the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they even partake in charity work, okay? They help the people who are um, underprivileged. Um, or help people to rehabilitate in certain situations. So uh, this this definitely could be a person who partakes in charity, um, who volunteers, okay, who does these kind things, um, or has been through some sort of hardship, okay, and can have earth-like qualities to them um, as well. They might have, might have recently even had a few losses financially, for example. That could also be coming up with the Five of Pentacles. They may work with medicine, with injuries, with health as well. Um, mental health, physical health, spiritual health, uh, financial health. They may work in one of these um, industries. Okay. Let's see what else comes up next to this person. Okay, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords often speaks of deceit, um, doing things that are taboo having some sort of hardship, okay? This person um, might have come from a uh, deceptive relationship. Uh, the Seven of Swords could indicate that this person has caused you anxiety or deception before he, Virgo. Um, it, could, it could also be someone who withheld something from you, um, maybe some sort of secret, maybe something that they didn't want to reveal to you necessarily. Um, you can see he's creeping away with the swords here and he's wearing a mask, so... The mask could even be translated into it, uh, translated as something like this person put on a front with you. Um, they could even have another persona, like a TV personality. Maybe they have a YouTube personality or um, a pen name if they're a writer, for example. They could be known by another identity. Um, or maybe there's a couple of facets that they could be very dual. Okay, there could be very two very distinct sides to them. Um, that could also be the case, the fact that he's wearing the mask. He doesn't want to show his true colors. So it could be someone that's avoided to really be vulnerable with you. And it could definitely be that this person is thinking about you. Um, they could very well be orbiting you around this time, Virgo. I'm wondering if this person might be tiptoeing, not so much about what they've kept from you, but tiptoeing around you, wanting to get back in touch. I definitely feel for a lot of you, you've shut this person off, okay? You've, you've left them, um, you've moved on. Maybe you're doing different things. Maybe they've moved on, but I sense that they might be tiptoeing around you up into the lead up towards that mid-February period, okay? Not for all of you, but for some, I do feel like that could be the case here. Um, but they could be quite cunning, quite charismatic, have a good way with words, uh, could get themselves involved in tricky situations somehow. Um, I wouldn't be this surprised if this person has... Uh, how to say, gets involved in gossips or scandals even. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, more Earth Energy, Taurus Cap Virgo. Uh, Eight of Pentacles can be someone you work with, okay? It can be someone you know through money, through investments, business transactions, property services, and the financial realm. Uh, for some of you, it is someone you work with. It's a colleague of some kind. 
Uh, the Eight of Pentacles um, does show someone quite driven and hardworking. So um, this person may have a lot of focus or attention on work. They may be building an empire, building up their business. They may be currently renovating their home. Um, but there's something that they're aspiring to or they're working towards. Um, there's a lot of dedication. I feel like this person is going to put in a lot of effort towards you somehow. Um, and before where you might have only seen words or this person didn't prove their words, uh, this might change. And then suddenly they're, um, they're taking the physical action to work towards you um, or to work towards your affection or to get something going here with you. So that's quite interesting. I definitely feel it's someone you're going to see take a lot of action um, as well. But it could be someone who who's quite hands-on, so whether this is affection, whether this is someone who's quite independent and likes to do things themselves, whether this is someone who likes to get involved in, in other affairs and things, um, but they're very hands-on. They like to be in on the action. They like to be occupied doing things. Um, I, I feel like they could lead a very busy lifestyle as well, but strong earth and air energy around this person so far. Let's see what else comes up, Virgo. Okay, the Six of Swords. Um, air energy. Okay, Aquaria, uh, Aquarius, sorry, Libra, Libra, Gemini. The Six of Swords is, is pictured here as a bridge. Um, and then you have what looks like butterflies. The bridge can indicate a new chapter, a new phase, movement, or the bridging of two worlds. Now, this person could be very, very different from you. Um, your polar opposite. This could be someone who's at a completely different stage, at a completely different decade or age in their life. Um, there's some sort of difference here. Yes, it could still symbolize something about a journey. Okay, it could be someone foreign, someone who's further away. Again, two worlds apart, could be in culture, interests, etc. Um, but the Six of Swords is also a bridge. So I'm wondering if this is a bridge to the past for some of you. If this person is in fact someone who's trying to get to you, who was once close or is trying to build that bridge to reconnect with you. The butterflies, of course, are messages and transformation. So this person could be a great communicator, okay? Um, maybe they work with communications, messages. Um, maybe they've been um, sending you a lot of messages, um, emails, texts, subliminal messages, something about communication. I also feel like there's been some sort of major change in this person's life. And that's what the butterflies could represent transformation change evolving this person is has evolved or is currently evolving maybe they have a new look they're undergoing a new career they're they're um, working on themselves personal growth self growth self transformation uh, could also be the case here but there's definitely they're wanting to build a bridge with you okay they're wanting to this is someone who's wanting to reconnect and has been wanting for a long time here, Virgo. This person, you are definitely on their thoughts. There's definitely a lot of um, focus and attention. Um, and there's two butterflies here. So I don't know if there's two important messages next to this person or they're a mix of, they're an even mix of earth and air energy potentially. Or well, they could even end up reaching out twice or something like that. Okay, the Ten of Cups. Um, this is a beautiful, blissful card of happily ever afters, of reunions. Some of you are definitely with this person. You're married, you're together, you're in a relationship, um, or you will be reunited. Uh, the Ten of Cups can speak of water energy, so it could be a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is wanting to uh, reconnect with you. Um, this person is thinking about holding you in their arms again and being affectionate and intimate with you. Um, especially if you have children with this person or you, if this is an ex, for example, um, if you have children, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the family that you used to have, the family unit you used to have, the family home you used to have, how at home and safe you made this person feel, Virgo. They're thinking about these things. Um, it could also be someone who's taken, Virgo. It could be someone who's married someone who already has children, someone who has that family base. But we can't help the, 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 the people we have feelings for. There is some sort of attraction here. Um, you bring them, you know, maybe they're not having the most 
smoothest time in their marriages or relationships. But you bring them that rainbow here, Virgo. There's something that you say or do or just your energy which makes them feel happy, which makes them feel cared for, which makes them feel free. Um, there's there's something here where they see the rainbow in you, and the rainbow is 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 beautiful. It's it's colorful. It's experience. It's it's in awe. Um, it's beauty, and they're seeing that in you. They're missing that. Um, or it could definitely be someone who's taken someone who might work with families, maybe even in real estate with housing and um, welfare, even, uh, you know, work within the community here. You might know this person through your family circle, extended family circle, family friends, etc. as well. I will leave your reading at that though, Virgo. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you have a fabulous Feb. Please don't forget to leave behind a subscribe and we shall be catching up very soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.